So here we go. Yes, I got it. Okay, so it's been 24 hours and counting since we took the injection. Okay, I got vaccinated yesterday. Okay, so I said I was going to keep you people updated after I take the injection. So this is me telling you that I feel fine. I didn't have fever, no headache, nothing. I didn't even feel like had any vaccine or anything i just felt normal okay so let's dive in okay hello here sweetness family welcome back to my channel i am a new girl mel okay so i'm going to keep you people updated just like i said so today is the d-day i'm going to get my vaccine i'm going to get vaccinated today so this is me all dressed up and i'm about to leave the house so i'm going to carry you guys along as much as i can because here in this country they have a problem of filming of any kind so i do not know if they will allow me to film the process if they don't then i'll be able to at least carry you guys from home down to the hospital and into the hospital and then we will see what's up if i can film i will sure do it if i can't okay i'll just let you people know the process and how everything went and i'll also let you people know how i'm feeling afterward so finger cross let's get this done okay let's do this see y'all later so we are on the highway right now we're about to take a right turn to go down to the hospital so yes we're going straight to the hospital this road leads to the hospital of hania okay all right so we're just going to take this route straight ahead and make some more turns and then we're going to arrive at the hospital so just come along with me as we go on this journey let's go get vaccinated okay all right so um the, like i said prior we're going to just take some turn right turn left turn blah 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 till we get there okay so at this point we are turning into the hospital right now okay so this is it the hospital of hania the greeks call it nosokomil all right so uh here we are we're just going to drive and uh, find a place to park and then go into the hospital and then uh, every other thing just will follow along okay so at this point now we're driving to the back of the hospital so it's almost like we're going to make a round at this point before we're going to park okay all right so now we're approaching the back of the hospital we came in from front and uh from the side we're going towards the back of the hospital this is behind the hospital okay the back of the hospital this is how it looks okay so from the back of the hospital now we're going to drive to the other side okay so it's almost like we are circling the hospital to find a place to park and then go into the hospital okay we're close to where we're going to park right now okay all right so right now we are at the hospital we call it the teaching hospital i'm not quite sure what they call it but like the federal hospital okay we're going in from the side quickly take a spin okay okay we're going from the physiotherapy clinic all right, so let me get my mask on and we'll go right So at this point, we are actually inside the hospital. You can see him signaling me to end the um, filming because like I told you people before, there's just something with this country and filming. I don't know if it's because of the whole propaganda they get and all of that. They are very sensitive to seeing someone holding a camera or anything. But I, I just kept it on my face and so people don't feel some type of way. But you could see people looking at me like, I hope this is not a reporter. You know, you just get that look, that weird look. People staring at you, that weird, weird stare, if I, I should call it that. Okay, so at this point, we have reached where we are supposed to get the shot so i'm just sitting down waiting because when we got there there were like three persons in front of us three older uh, people you know in front of us so we had to sit down and wait for them to you know finish book the appointment everything and then it gets to our turn okay so i'm just sitting here i was actually sitting here talking to you people but there's something else about the greeks also they talk very loud so <laughs> i was actually talking to you people so that so you can see my hand moving I, i'm talking even though you cannot see my mouth moving because um i have the mask on i was talking but because they were talking very loud uh it overshadowed my voice because i was trying to keep my voice down i was speaking very low because i'm in the hospital okay i cannot speak very loud you know you have patients and all of that but then their voices 
um their voices overshadowed mine so i had to do a voice over okay so uh don't feel kind of strange because you see my hand and my mouth moving but i'm now doing a voice over that's what happened okay so at this point the people are inside already we're waiting here you see covid19 uh vaccine and here it says uh, a greek word same like same thing like where you get your shots okay all right so i'm just showing you people like the signs they have outside for people to read so you know what to do when you get inside because they're not really asking so many questions when you get inside okay so yeah that's just that's just what it is right now that's what i'm showing you people and i just love this giant red rose they um is this the red it's not a, that's not a rose i think that's um hibiscus if i'm not mistaken it looks very nice uh, <laughs> i was just looking at it so yeah, you can see everywhere is quiet. I just love the fact I, I had afternoon appointments, like uh, for our both of us, we didn't have exactly the same appointment. We had like 12.40 and one something, okay? But I love the fact that when we got there, everywhere was just calm, you know? Okay, so at this point, uh, they finished giving my husband his shot, he stood up and it was my turn. I sat down, we did Johnson and Johnson, okay? If In case you're wondering. So yeah, they have uh, different chairs and depending on which of the vaccine you are taking, uh, they will, you know where to sit. So you can see right behind me, right, Johnson. Okay, so I'm sitting here waiting for the lady to give me the shot. I had to ask her if I could film. She said, uh, but not like I, I should not show her face. So I had it on me, and sometimes you see the camera kind of pointing towards the ground. Okay. If you feel pain in your arm, actually be polite and not say anything rude. Okay. Okay. Sure. Okay. So here she is, actually talking to me. But I had to mute the other. Yes. So it's relaxed. Or sometimes it's just fair. Didn't want what you were saying. Yes. Doesn't hurt. Just relax. Okay. So yeah. See me smiling. She we were just talking. She was talking to me. Yes, I can. Yes. I can. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. So we're done with our show and all of that. And um, that's just uh, what it is. That's exactly what's going on at this point. And she also told me about the um, alcohol and all of that. Don't drink alcohol and so on you know after taking the shot so after giving me the shot she asked me to go and sit down for 10 minutes before i can leave okay so that's what everybody after you get your shot you go sit for 10 minutes and then you leave okay so at this point she brought me my um the paper like the kind of paper that you had to fill or something so it was like two so i think i guess they kept one and gave us one to take that will go and register and so that it's just a long process with this covid 19 stuff Okay, so at this point, I'm just sitting down and I was actually explaining to you people what's going on and um, all of that. I'm just uh, sitting, waiting for my 10 minutes to go. And I think here I, I was uh, talking to you people about how, what I was thinking about what I experienced, you know. I was thinking the uh, vaccine is going to, the injection is going to hurt, you know, like it's going to be painful like chloroquine and all those chloroquine injections and those other uh, very painful injections, but it was nothing like that, okay? You will feel it, okay? Uh, but it wasn't uh, something that was painful and um, that was good. I felt good. I was like, oh, good, great. <laughs> it doesn't hurt, you know? After she even gave me, I was like, it doesn't hurt and she laughed. I was just like, ah, it doesn't, right? <laughs> I said, yes, it doesn't. Okay, so I went on and I sat down and I'm just talking to you people here. Yeah, you see me moving my hand up. I was talking about how I just love this physiotherapy area, how it is. They have like a pool in the middle and it's like around the room. It's like round the design and they have lights uh, going around in a circle in the roof and they, they have like a glass roof on the top, you know, that is shining down light with the windows all around. And I just love the setting, you know. And another thing I noticed is what the ladies were wearing. It was really uh, nice, you know. They had like some of them wearing the white, you know, normal uh, white lab coats. Some of them are wearing this, uh, what they call it, scrub. I don't know, They're like pink, purple, green. You know, that's just something that I see in the hospital here, which is not really common uh, in my uh, place. Like the teaching hospital in my country, you don't really see them wearing colorful scrubs. They have like a particular color they wear. But here I see the ladies wearing purple pink they just pick any color that they like and I, I it's just so beautiful when you see them moving around red everything they just have almost all the color just name it there when you get into the hospital and i think it just it is cool you know and all of that 
Okay, so I'm still sitting and waiting for my 10 minutes to go while I just talk to you people about the whole uh, thing and all of that. And he also told me that uh, if I get home and I'm feeling somehow, you know, kind of pain or uh, uh, feverish headache or anything, I should take paracetamol. So that was it. But at this point, I got home. I didn't feel anything, so I didn't take anything. I was cool. I was good. Okay. So here, I wanted to show you people the uh, uh, pool they had in the middle of the room. That was cool. Here, we are leaving. We are done. They finished giving us our shot and everything. We're back outside, getting ready to head home. Okay. So yeah, physiotherapy. Yeah. That's where we went in from. So now I'm going back to the car. I'm going to jump in the car and I'm going to just dash off. <laughs> leave the hospital premises and uh, i'm going to do a bit of shopping but i'm not going to include that in this vlog i don't want this vlog to be too long so i'm not even going to include that but that's what i'm going to do i'm going to shop before i go home so this is me walking to where we parked our car you, you can see there are so many cars in the hospital every time i come to the hospital i always see so so many cars and it's like oh my goodness good health is wealth you know when you don't go to the hospital you don't know what people are going through when you visit the hospitals then you can uh, imagine you know so <laughs> ready 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 we get to ready i'm in the car and uh it is what it is we're done and um, why am I still wearing the mask? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh, I came outside and I still had the mask on talking. I hope you people can hear everything I said. Uh, it's just going to be a short vlog. I just wanted to carry people along as I went to take my shots, uh, you know, get vaccinated and all of that. So I will, I will also keep you people informed on how I feel. Uh, afterward you know if I felt any uh, type of way let me just get let me take this off okay yeah if I if I feel funny or whatever I will let you people know okay so off we off we go we're driving out from the hospital right now and heading home thank you very much for joining me thank you for watching subscribe like and share